how you doing? Thank you so much for being here. I have a new microphone because the other was burned, so please let me know if the sound is okay because I'm testing it. And then we're going to have a great Saturday. Saturday here where I am, maybe it will be Sunday if you're in Australia or night if you're in Europe, but in my side of the world, it is morning, it's shining like you guys can see. It feels like winter is done and we are entering spring, which is a lovely moment to enjoy going out. The sun, the flowers, the trees, even I think we feel more, I don't know, relaxed to enjoy the weekend. Today, I'm gonna give, oh, thank you so much for your stars. If the sound is okay, please give me a like. And today, because a lot of people message me for a lot of things. And normally, I ask questions. You guys ask questions here, guys, and I reply in whatever form I know, so I shall for you guys. Today is not going to be different, but the mechanic is going to be a little bit different. You guys can ask your questions. It will come through where I share. But especially to things you want to manifest, you feel like it is block, you would like to create, but you don't know how, because there is a lot of things going on in relationships, contracts, jobs, economy, health, wealth, it's a lot of things. And my idea, the reason why I started teaching is because I think I help you guys more when I teach you how I do it, that when I tell you what I feel, it's happening with you because any channeling is not a hundred percent pure. It will be tainted by my experience. And even though I tried not to put my nose on it <laughs> and try to clear conscious because I channel a lot every day, get better and better and better. But what if we could all have channel our own messages? This is one of my dreams. And we are all able, we all have the gifts, but it takes a little practice. Like, if you would like to have a hot tub, thank you, thank you so much, and then you, you check hot water, cold water, hot water, cold water, until the temperature it is the way you want it. Like for me, I like super hot because my muscles relax the stress, and I like it almost boiled. But I have done cold water and I have to go little by little by little by little until I can adjust to that temperature. It's not the one that I'm used to. This is how we tune into higher guidance. We go little by little during meditation and the fact that like language, we don't understand everything. It's great because you guys don't have to follow what I said. It doesn't matter if I have accent. It doesn't matter if it is are coming through and the sound looks muffled like because maybe that muffled sound it's what it's helping our chakras to release something because maybe I'm triggered like oh the sound is not okay and maybe that trigger is what is going to help me to release something so even though there are some things that we don't appreciate we are here to be us. Perfect and perfect, it doesn't exist because everything is part of creation. And this is what I wanted to talk about. I am dyslexic, so I switch letters. If you guys don't understand, or oh, I have a spelling, forget about it because I'm not here to be perfect. I'm to share something that I practice with myself that works out. And if you have questions, please let me know. So, how I can manifest the reality that I want. I want to have disclosure. Maybe I want to have the twin flame dream relationship. Maybe I want to have a lot of money, so I do a retreat for spiritual life work yourself in that place. Whatever is my desire. Why sometimes we don't manifest things we want? because it's about energy. It's about how the energy 
that we sent it's explore and create it and give me just a second let me see if i have your questions already and then we can go with the flow so we all know that it's a yin and yang right so dark and light we will all together and then we have neutrality we all know that Brandon, you're not doing something neo i already know that yes but this is just for something that i see at the energy so if the energy has balance harmony and flow it will look like this forgive me because i this like 15 minutes ago with sharpies if it's distorted it's going to be like this if i'm peaceful and something said to me oh you look horrible today and i feel insecure because i am valuing myself for the comment that comment that word is going to crash my way and is going to cut it and then it's going to feel like an attack but if i am extra positive and something is very depressed because just found out the partner is cheating on it and i'm like raveling unicorns namaste i love you we should forgive we have aliens here with angels that person is going to feel attacked too because my light it's entering its darkness and it will create a flow that's why when we do dna activations or too many meditations or a session with a healer sometimes we feel like drain or sleepy or pain or any physical manifestation it is because the light was too much too much dark or too much light creates distortion but we have the darkness that we leave and the light that we need between the mix from all of us humans animals trees beings on inner earth or whatever to have the balance that Gaia needs right now for whatever we are having and where we are going if there is a hurricane the forest in California burned Mexico shakes is because Gaia it's moving finding a new way because something probably us distorted the magnetic fields of her does that make sense so when I change timeline or dimension, I change from this to a this. Does that make sense? Like, I'm gonna explain it. I did a lot of drawings. I hope it's fun. Because if it's fun, you guys will get whatever you need. And maybe I learned something from you in your comments. Maybe you know and you add in your comments whatever you learn, whatever you have practiced that can enlighten all of us and we'll grow together. So everything that it is energy, guys, is going to expand or contract. And we go like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like the infinite symbol, right? I can shrink it or I can expand it. And that's happened all the time. Even when I feel like nothing's happening, it's happening because I'm breathing, because I'm seeing, because I'm listening, because the world is spinning, because the day is over and the night is coming. So even if I said I'm, I'm stuck, it's not real. I'm not stuck. Maybe I'm slowly moving, but I'm not stuck. I'm never stuck. I'm just creating an illusion where I feel limited because I'm going to explain that later. So this is how I see the energy and I am going to go with questions in a little bit, but many of your answers are going to come to me. And I wanted to do this because instead of telling you the answer, for whoever will lie to you, if you guys can figure out how you can get your own answers, for me, that's great because it feels that we're closer and closer and closer to support each other holding hands so we can move 
more to new earth because new earth guys is not about me it's not about me knowing or you knowing and i don't it's about all of us together where i know that you don't know and what you don't you know that i don't know so we all can hold each other and make it easy look i hope you guys don't worry about the words so you maybe don't understand maybe it's meal spell so first of all the light we already know that everything it's dark and light in neutrality right so it will split or be equal if it's equal it represents source neutrality and change change is in bad we hate it because it's new and then it's just like oh I have to change <laughs> I like it because I already have my wave and then darkness come and crush it and now I can create another wave again. So it represents expansion. That expansion it's female energy. The female energy is creation. It's gentleness. It's different levels of explore the same idea. What if let's say that my idea is to do healing or to do this and I said what if I draw something what if those draws complement my accent what if it make it fun what if people will remember easy or something or remember what I need to do I hope that makes sense so those what if it's female energy creation expansion <clears throat> Masculine energy, <coughs> sorry, consequence of COVID, <clears throat> it's ideas, beliefs. We can say that the male energy is in the mind and feminine energy is in the heart. But in reality, female energy, when you are a couple, it doesn't matter if you have the same gender or the opposite gender, if I have a boyfriend, we are going to connect in the heart when we are in sacred union and he is going to work my lower chakras and I'm going to work the higher chakras on behalf of both. So when you have the alchemy of a partnership that could be cap couple, friends, mother, son, anything, one channels the creation, the expansion, if the other How do I say that in English? Try the ideas, the action. Does that I hope that makes sense. We have both in between and that we have it and separate it. So when I have my idea, sounds awesome. Maybe my idea is, is this is idea that many people have. I'm gonna create a retreat and it's gonna be a hotel. It's gonna have the capacity to hold all the 144,000 light workers in the world so we are not all separated. And it's going to be a beautiful community and ETs will come and angels and we're going to sing and we're going to have fun. And my dream flight is going to be there. <laughs> and all of my soulmates and we're going to be happy forever, learning each other and having fun. Let's say that that's my idea. So, how that's going to be? This is where the negative energy enters, that it is the expansion. Is it going to be in Mexico? Is it going to be in the U.S.? Is it going to be in Costa Rica? How much money do I need? How many people I can hold? How many we need to create that idea? So I'm going to send a bunch of ideas, like rackets, like missiles, to see what can be true. And if my idea and the expansion that has been already created, that it is Gaia, matches, those are going to merge, and then it's when it can be instantly manifested. Sometimes I do a payment, and then when I am entering the app to pay the house or, or the mortgage or something, I notice that someone purchased a drawing, for example, and say, oh, I already have the money, so I don't have to take it from what I have. It's been instantly flow from one hand to another. And then when I pay my house, the employees from the bank, 
the builders, they could have their own money, and then the people who made the furniture and the walls, and then maybe it can go to the ones who create the paints and all things. So everything goes and goes and goes and goes, and then it create a ripple effect when we all benefit from what ideas I'm sending into the field, that the field can hold them in balance so they can be instantly manifested. I hope that makes sense. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> so, from all the ideas that I have, guys, that's creation. So my idea is going to be explored and if it was good, those are going to become harmony. So darkness is not something that wants to attack me because poor me or I'm a victim. Darkness, it's in the magnetics of the energy what is going to preach me to become something new. So I will, sorry, the wrong, <laughs> the wrong color. <laughs> so if my aura is blue, all the things that I will experience are going to be transformed into a different color in my aura. That makes sense. Like for example, mm, my soul has a soul love partner, I think. So normally when I connect with that spiritual twin flame aspect that I have, kind of like a imaginary boyfriend, I'm normally pink and he is blue, and then I know that we're together because we become purple. That makes sense. So we find a harmony. He is not pink or I'm not blue. We both create a third entity from both of us that is pink. If we will have a kid, this is how you have kids. <laughs> it's not a bee and a flower. It's because I give a seed and the other person give a seed and then we create something new. That creation could be harmonious or not. It depends. That's why we incarnate. Because we try and try and try and try until we figure out the alchemy into how to create that we want. And these could be dimensions. These could be all the boyfriends I have had <laughs> until now I found someone that I can have harmony. It could be the multidimensional aspect of me. Like maybe this is my higher self and this maybe this is all the soul fragments that I have. The Atlantean one, the galactic one, the dark one. And, and all of those are going to blend into one creation that is me, that is going to be my history, my Akashic records. So everything, even if I think it's a mistake, a trauma, it shouldn't happen, that person died and I hate it, I hurt, it was a mistake, I wasted my life, it isn't. Because at the bigger scale, it benefits the whole in so many different ways. So let's say that this represents karma. Let's say that my karma is narcissistic empath relationship because I had that. Maybe I change into, I change frequency into this one or this one or this one where this pattern, it's not anymore in my reality. And this is the main reason I think in my case why I awaken. I awaken because I want to feel good, because I want life to feel comfortable, to feel easy, to flow. It's not if I see things or I cannot heal like others heal or know about DNA like the way others do or channel like Bashar will do or Abraham Hicks. It is that my darkness, what it appears to be, my flaws, my imperfection, it's holding the treasure that it is me that I'm here to find. So I think I'm here to find me, to discover me. Like I never thought ever, 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 I would do this for Aline, ever. 
it wasn't in my intentions. It was not part of the ideas I sent to the universe. I want a stable job, insurance, dental, <laughs> normal things. Like, cause it was what I told that represented happiness. Like, you should go to university, I did that. You should have a good job, you should have a part of you, have kids, and then you're gonna be happy because it's part of the plan, right? And it wasn't. It wasn't because I changed and I changed and I changed and I changed. And I always change the ideas that it is what I want. Maybe my 16 year old, all I wanted, it was leave home. So when I was 17, <laughs> I leave my family and I started leaving by myself. And now I have other ideas, if that makes sense. Like I wouldn't go back to live with my mom, but if she needs me, I'm open for her to live with me. If she needs medical care or anything, I will, I will go back to an alike pattern than the one we had when I was a child and she was my mom. She's still my mom, <laughs> but in a different way. And this is <laughs> like this. Sometimes we go over and over and over and over into one pattern for us to find the perfect chemistry, like the medicine or the remedy for that whatever the distortion that was created. It doesn't matter if it's in this life or another for me or my ancestors. It is there and someone should be responsible to be the conscious creator who holds the space and balance for whatever distortion to flow, whether that it is lack of money, lack of spirituality, lack of love, lack of balance, or anything that we feel we are lacking. But we are here, at least I'm here for what I am, feel like I'm lacking, because it's the darkness that has buried my jewels. And this is what I am awakening because I'm searching into myself to see what I like. If I would like to, for example, I have this house and I would like another house that it's more like spiritual house. <laughs> and maybe I could say, but where I want that house, do I want that house in the same city? Because I already live here. Maybe I would like to change country. Maybe that would be good, right? So this is why we explore different things. And if in that exploration, something appears that it was painful, that I didn't enjoy that much, at the bigger picture, it isn't because it give, gave me the opportunity to know what I don't want. Like for example, I live with my ex 11 years and I love him, we're good friends, we're very, united and the things of the kids i don't ask the money he always provides that if i need something he will always if that makes sense it's not about how much he gives on on daycare it's about whoever's has it like for example sometimes he will take them to the mall and purchase a lot of things and i'm like oh sometimes i will do that it's like whoever can and it's more balanced to do that and now we have decided that they are going to be living with both. So whatever they want between here and there, they can have the best. So it's not about me. It's about what we all, he and I, even though we're not together, can find that balance where we don't feel triggered, that we can work together for the benefit of all as the family that once we were, that now we live separated. But I wouldn't go back to him when we were husband and, and wife because it didn't work. But it's working right now because we change the wavelength into a flow that doesn't feel like a trigger. If something triggers me, it's because I'm healing that. It's part of my darkness, but it's not that I'm attacked because poor me, because I'm God and so are you. It's because it's the illusion that's being created. So my light, let's say that this is me and my ex together and then boom, divorce. And then I change, sure, but because I change, I'm here. So it was a good thing. 
But when I was there, it was just like, oh, it's so horrible. I lost everything. But everything that I lost became new and better. Does that make sense? That's why new is always good. Even though it appears to be a bad thing, like quarantine has been a, something good for many. COVID, I'm sure, at the end of the whole process is going to be a good lesson because it's going to help us to maybe take care of ourselves, maybe to be more clean, maybe to make that choice if I want to be vaccinated or not, or if someone is not vaccinated and I believe in the vaccine, am I going to bully that person or am I going to respect that? If they are forcing me to get vaccinated in my job, am I willing to quit or I'm going to surrender? Is that make sense? There are all many different variations about the same idea that maybe it is COVID or getting vaccinated. And in between, we have a myriad of possibilities to choose what feels right for me. And at the same time, what feels right for me, that is not attached on any heaviness. It is what actually my higher self wants. So when I'm happy and joyful and relaxed or peaceful, that all is good, that I'm not wanting to change anything like, oh, Mexico, it's perfect. We have a lot of potholes in the street, but it's good, right? Because my world it's happy as you guys can can see so it doesn't affect me corruption or the shootings or the potholes in the street or the economy because I feel so aligned myself because I'm practicing between this that whatever happened maybe is going to shake me a little bit but I'm going to find the wavelength again where I can be at ease, flowing the all that it is. And this is the very hard part. That's why sometimes when we manifest, guys, we don't manifest the desires that we want because it's like, and I was putting this example in the session that I had this week. And after this, I'm going to go to your questions, I promise. Let's say that I'm a shoe and I am the right shoe and I am asking for the left one so I can have a pair. Maybe this is the partner that I want to manifest. But the universe is going to send me a feet so I can walk and move and have an experience. That's why sometimes the things that I ask for, they come in the way about what the universe thinks that serve me the most but I also benefit everyone else. And this is sometimes the opposite of where I am asking. Because normally what we are asking, it is what feels easy. I will be happy when I'm rich. I will be happy when I quit the job in the matrix. I will be happy when I have the house of my dreams. I will be happy when I become a healer, when I see guys, stuff like that. So normally what we ask is what it will be easy and easy isn't wrong. Life should be easy. I don't think we're here to suffer. No, not at all. We are here maybe to be challenged, to change direction, to change, to renew, to create the solutions, but not to say, oh, please take me. This is so hard because when we are in that stage that I was for so many years, so many years <laughs> it, it's like I'm not being a conscious creator and this is what all of this about manifesting creating what is going to be what will work all for all so we all work together what if we could have a reality like the Beatles describe in the song imagine that will be peace. Would not be awesome? That we could all be kind with each other? It doesn't matter if I'm black or Latino or, or Nordic, that I speak good, that I'm good looking, that I have money or not, or that I'm the right spiritual, that I don't have to correct you because you don't believe what I do, so you are wrong and right, right? 
or all of those things that separate us guys, that separate us in a million of options about I can be. Does that make sense? So between being conscious greater when I manifest what I can bring now that works for me but for everyone else because this is what will happen in fifth dimension. In fifth dimension, I'm not going to do what I want. I'm going to do what works for all. Does that make sense? That's why maybe all things will be free. Maybe we won't have to pay anything. Maybe we won't, we won't need money anymore because everything will be about the energy. I don't know how that will be exactly because I just have seen pieces. But I'm sure it's going to be awesome. And all of the things that are happening us now is to practice. Maybe one day I'm going to fuck things up <laughs> and not be my five minutes of wisdom. And I'm going to feel like drain or that I wasted my time or pain or coercing my guys and my higher self said, fuck no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel the contract. That's it, that's a set for now. But one way or another, when it is a lesson that I can bring the flow, is going to be done for some aspect of me, in this dimension or in all other, in this life or in all other. And when I change my frequency into another length of the same pattern, Maybe that could be experienced, but in a different way. Like for example, it's not the same thing to do a cake bake that to do a cheesecake that maybe instead of being in the oven, it's done in the refrigerator. Does that make sense? It's the same dessert, but it's going to be done a different presentation. Maybe my dessert has to be done with fruits and yogurt and honey in a very organic way and that's gonna be my way maybe someone else's way is gonna be a banana split or a milkshake or a root beer flow and that's okay because it's different presentations of the same thing and until we don't taste it and go for it we can say if we like it or not like for me when i tasted root beer flow it was so sweet that i wanted to try but i was just like ew no take it I not pay for it, but I'm not gonna drink it, just throw it out. I didn't like it because I'm not into sweets. I never like sweet, but maybe someone else's. It's the food for their soul and that's fine. That's completely fine. Because we are all different and the difference that we have between me and you, that may be my imperfection, it's my gift because I'm the only one who does it. <laughs> and if I use it in a harmonious way, it will work out for me and for you guys. Like for example, I have known four persons with, no, five persons with autism. One of them had a very hard time and I think it's in a nursing home. Other is too little, we will see. <laughs> but the other three have like a normal life. If they don't tell you that they have a degree of autism, you wouldn't know because they have learned to work in the field that it is and find its own harmony. Like for me, I have dyslexia. I put things backwards. But it doesn't matter because it helps me to draw because I don't see things linear. I see a different degree that helps me to be creative. So being a dyslexic for me, it was meant to be and it's a positive thing. Even though I'm always asking, left, right? Left, right? What is it? <laughs> what day is today? Tuesday, Friday? How many? Sometimes I don't even remember my age. The other day I was saying that I was 40 and my daughter said, mom, you're 41. Don't lie to me. And I was just like, oh, damn it. <laughs> right? So I forgot stuff a lot. Sometimes I don't remember a lot of things and it can be annoying for the ones that live with me, but it helps me to draw very quickly what I do to see the codes, to understand the world in a different way that 
my mathematics is not taught in a school, but if my son and I will do a math, I will end have the same result, but I go in my own pattern, if that makes sense. So my own patterns, I created them because the ones that are in the field doesn't work for me. So maybe if that is not in harmony, I could be in a mental place, in a nursing home because I see stuff, because I talk to angels, aliens, whatever. Maybe I could be described as a crazy person. And that will be the same person, but in this harmony with the field. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So if I feel attack, it is because this is my own perception, so you guys, take your time. You don't have to believe what I believe. Believe what you should believe because that is meant for you to be. When I'm attacked, I know because whatever arises in my field, I wasn't ready for it yet. Like maybe it wasn't expected, maybe I was tired, maybe I wasn't present, and then I would feel like... Mm, I would have wanted to done in a different way but it's okay I don't have to feel guilty or shame or stupid me or or depressed or or feel less worthy or value I just had to say don't worry next time we're well, gonna try something new and something new and something new and this is I think how I can transform myself and become a different version and awakening for me it's not know that I'm God and that aliens exist and angels is to know me all the aspects of me in the multi-dimensional all the things I have been I am but most importantly I can be in the future because I'm being a conscious creator conscious creator is I drive my car or I let the government to drive it for me, or my parents, or whoever it is, probably is my guru or my mentor, because my mentor says I should do this and that, but I'm not thinking if that's true or not. So if you guys disagree with me, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine because <clears throat> you think, mm, I don't believe that Gretel because this and this and this. And that's fine because you have to believe what works for you, not what works for me. And this is why we learn from each other. Maybe we said, oh, I don't like that. I wouldn't want that to happen to me. And maybe I can avoid, not, not avoid, maybe not add that lesson into my journey because I'm already seeing and probably the result, I don't prefer it. Like when I order a root beer flow, I don't know if you guys know, but in US, there is a root beer that is a soda that is like a Dr. Pepper, extremely sweet, and then they add vanilla ice cream bowls on it. And then it just like, bubbles. <laughs> and then for me, it, not even the aspect I enjoy. It. So for me, I said like, hell no, I'm not going to eat that, right? I taste it, I really like it. But it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It did not work for me. So conscious creator what will be? It will be that even though I may be forced to get vaccinated in my job, I can take the choice to surrender or not to surrender. So I'm still making the choice. And it's not about one or the other. It's about what feels that I am in alignment with. Does that make sense? Because for me, when I enter the yoga certification that I am doing, they said we all have to be vaccinated because <clears throat> they have all people and the old people wanted to feel safe. So I said, okay, I'll get vaccinated because I want to keep the yoga. And then I signed up for the vaccine. The government was free. That day that I needed to go, it was over. 
So I went, I did my line, I waited for hours, and then when it was about to be my, my time, they said, oh, I'm sorry, we just don't have done vaccines anymore. We just have to sign up and wait when we have again, like three months. So I signed up again, and then I had COVID. <laughs> so it wasn't meant for me to get vaccinated. But I was going to go with the choice that would represent the less stress for me. Does that make sense? I said, okay, maybe I'm meant to get vaccinated, so I'm going to go with the flow. But instead, I got COVID. And then after I get COVID, honestly, I was scared. <laughs> and then I told the doctor, okay, I'm going to get vaccinated right away. And then the doctor said, no, you cannot get vaccinated because you have to wait six months to take results to see if you have any side effect and then you can choose if you want to vaccinate or not. But you are already vaccinated naturally because you already had COVID and I was just like, awesome this is it. I, I manifested get COVID so I could naturally get vaccinated so I could keep going to yoga. Does that make sense? So sometimes we don't know, guys, why things happen. And it was an easy thing to get COVID. It was painful as shit. And it was the lightest <laughs> I didn't like it. But I learned a lot. I learned to connect with my body. I learned to trust. I learned that it was safe. I learned that it was okay to accept help and to say, you know what, I don't know what to do. Please help me. And at the end, it was all good. It all worked out. So trust your challenges and do your best. And if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. Because the energy, guys, let me show you. Oh, I forgot my, damn it. The energy is designed to find harmony one way or another. Sometimes the best thing that I can do is a step back. Because water is water, life is light, fire is fire, human is human. I don't need to teach my cat to use the cat's app. They instantly do because they are cats. They instantly hunt and, and do all the things they need because they trust their intuition. So probably trust your intuition. Practice in whatever word, way <laughs> you guys think that work for you. And then if it doesn't work, try it again and again and again. We don't have to figure out everything in this life. We're infinite beings. And if we don't want to keep figure out, figuring that out, because maybe it's hard, maybe someone else in the soul family can have it. There are a lot of options. Nothing is a fact. Thank you so much. <laughs> everything can be done and changed and upgrade as long as there are always many opportunities for us to do things. That's why I believe that the ultimate choice is us. Like, for example, last thing. You guys are going to laugh at it. Promise. <laughs> I traveled last year to a retreat in Guadalajara in Mexico in the center. You know, you guys know. It's, it was in the mountains. Very fairy like Kind of like Ireland vibe. A, very, a peace very like cloudy, mist in the mountains. It was hard to get there and it was beautiful. I stayed in a week. So I traveled in an airplane. When they were given the instructions that they always do in an airplane, they added the instruction for us that if the airplane was going to crash or something and we needed oxygen, that we need to take the mask off so we can use the oxygen. And I was thinking, <laughs> And then I said, that's not encouraging. How is it that we cannot use logic and common sense to figure it out that of course you have to take your mask off if you wanna put your oxygen. So sometimes things should not be like vaccinate or not. It's supposed to be our own free will. But sometimes we haven't exercised that free will, that choice, because we always have been told what to do for our parents, society, husband or the wife, or, or whoever puts a condition for us to do something. So being conscious creator, 
it's about taking inventory about all the choices we have around and they take a couple of seconds higher self please guide me shed a light and then choose whatever feels best trust that it will always work one way or another hopefully no hopefully that's a fact let me go for your questions <sighs> thank you natalie appreciate that feminine love knowledge masculine light union yes i love of course because we complement each other it's beautiful okay dina can you please tell me what is the deal with hell these days that's actually a great question dina i think the deal is that we are learning to take care of our bodies and choose if we would like to be vegan vegetarian eat meat if maybe we need to do some physical activity or not or maybe for some people they feel safe to have the mask for me i cannot breathe i hate it honestly but for some people it's like my protection like my god i just i like for the people that have guns in their homes because if something happened they can protect themselves from their family for some people the mask is like that maybe for me it's vitamin c or water or do the best i know and i can to take care of my health but my health i think is not only about what i feed physically dina it's more about everything my spirit my emotions and my physicality and balance so i don't manifest any pain or anything that represents a distortion a damage from whatever i'm being perceived from the field hope that makes sense <sighs> i think guys get excited when i'm sharing this information because for them it's like having the opportunity to to speak through me and through whatever I know and I can say for whatever you guys understand for them is like yes like oh <laughs> thank you okay cool notate it thank you so much Berta Ellie Julie Natalie Kajetan I don't know how to pronounce your name you're gonna have to tell me how to do that Jermaine, I appreciate it. Tong, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything, for all your support. Gloria, I appreciate. Thank you so much for the stars. You guys have any questions or you guys want me to channel the guys with the rest of the time to see what comes through? What do you think will happen with Russia clan situation? Well, actually, I have no idea about news, but whatever I need to know, my family makes sure that I know something. <sighs> so I'm gonna try to bring the guys to see what I should do. I should set. <laughs> I think we're practicing. All that's meant the country to not to fight for what we think is right and try to find the solution that is not me being right and you being wrong but how we can all flow and it's part of being in fifth dimension because in fifth dimension guys we're going to be all like a huge marriage like all together like if we have one bank account when it's in harmony, that's fine because we all have what we all need. But because we're still practicing to find that harmony, those contrasts like things shouldn't happen like war or terrorist attacks or murder or something like that, they become part of the plan because they are the cause and effect for us to have a myriad of options about how to make choices because there are a lot of people this is not only about Russia and Ukraine and maybe the rest of the countries 
going to support is about every citizen, is about all of the countries that are around, and probably about all of us, because at one scale, we are all connected. But sometimes, things have its own flow and they are designed to be resolved in the way that will benefit all, even though may not be the best solution possible. Like when I divorced my ex, that we lost everything. It was a lot of things, like financially, he did a bad business, he ended up losing everything, I got sick, my kids were emotionally bad, marriage was sucks, work, everything. And it was no solution other than go to work, <laughs> to work and then separate it and then create something new. And we're, we are both better being the way we are. But sometimes there are things that we have to go through. I, it's not something that I would like to see but I don't know why in this reality you cannot go to heaven before dying. It's like some things, they are part of the challenge that help us all to become more wise in so many aspects. So the best thing I think I can do is do my best in my life with my kids. And every time I send healing, send healing so everyone else can receive if they are ready to receive it. You can do that throughout your higher self. And if you want to, we can do a short light language transmission meditation for the peace in the world. We can do... We can bring Mother Mary Jenny, I think. Jenny, I think your message is to create that safe sensation that all is well. This is what's coming true. I hope that makes sense. Nicole, thank you. Hendrix, thank you for being here. I was wondering if my guides have any message for me today. I would like to know where my husband will find a stable job and if we're going to have to relocate. Look, Nicole, I, sometimes I can, but this time it was like a no. First thing that I saw before even bringing, finishing reading your question, I don't think I should access your husband because he's not the one asking the question. So the best you can do is trust with your love and support and confidence that he will know how to figure it out by himself, that he has what it takes and that you guys will be supported because if he is the provider, one way or another things will come for that stability to be provided for all of you. It's beautiful when, for the ones that are with us in our family, whether that those are our kids or our parents, sisters, brothers, or your partner, that we can say something like, I know you're going through something and it shouldn't happen, but I trust you that you have what it takes to figure it out. And if you need anything, I will support you with some challenges. We have to do it by ourselves, if that makes sense. Marjorie, any message from my guys? Yes. Work with your solar plexus and the power and at the same time there is like a sun like I don't know if you should sun gaze or work with solar coats and I think it's more your mask going inside Marjorie I hope that helps and let me see let me go back and at the end, I would like to do a few minutes of light language. Is it anything that you guys would like me to channel or I can just go with the flow? 
Berta? Yes. <sighs> okay, Berta. There is a balance between what we do for others that it should be equally done to what we do for ourselves. I'm, I'm seeing that the balance is not like even. Keep doing it because you are a beautiful person. You are like an angel for many people that know, know you, but don't forget to give the same love for yourself so you always have abundantly. And when you are full, it kind of like multiplies at the infinite level that you can do and do and do and give and give and give and it never gets out of. I hope that makes sense. Let me get three more questions and then I can do at least 10 minutes of light language. Do you mean where is the possibility? Natalie. I don't would like to say that it is a yes or a no because I don't think I would like to know. I would like to trust that we're all safe and no matter what happened, is going to be according to a divine plan. There are million, like the way I was showing you guys, there are million, many timelines. And the fact that maybe a war, it doesn't have to be your timeline. That if it's that a possibility in the field and that he say yes and then no, it means that there are many timelines with both scenarios on it. But it's not my timeline if I don't feel triggered by, if I feel that my world is okay. I hope that makes sense. Like for example, I live in Venezuela because my father, he is from Venezuela, he was. I live in Canada a little bit. I live in US like for seven years and then I live in Mexico in different parts. So a beautiful thing when you live in America is that everything works. All the streets had signs, they're all beautifully done. Like they have like four or five lines for you to go at your speed. Everyone's going at the speed limit because the second you don't, a police officer is going to be woo -woo instantly. And then you're gonna have a ticket. And if it's not a police officer, it's gonna be a camera on the street and then everything is announced. We're gonna have a flood, one inch. And then you say, oh, it's gonna rain. And then you check the weather channel, the news, the transit channel, and then everything, it's being bombarded in a way that you all know what's happening, where to go. If it was going to be a hurricane when I was living in Texas, we always knew what would happen if we didn't leave, that FEMA was going to come, that we were going to have support for the government, whatever thing will happen. Everything was always done accordingly because it's a world that is, I don't know how to say it, I mean, <laughs> like a super country. Beautiful done, beautiful, better cars than in Mexico, better houses, you could have better clothing, you even look better because everything was more comfortable and like a new degree of comfortability and, and life was better. I think that's why people migrate to another places to have a better life. When I went to Canada, it was a different dynamic, but it was all beautiful. People were beautiful, places, gardens, everything. I was just like, oh, that's, I want to live here. The only thing I didn't make it, it was the winter. I said, no, my body is not equipped for this. <laughs> no, no, thank you. I, I couldn't. It was not meant to be either. There were things in my life that it was meant to be, so I went on to Mexico. Right here in Mexico, when I go out of my neighborhood, it's like driving the moon. There is pothole next to a pothole next to a pothole. <laughs> People don't care about traffic rules, at least in my city. I don't know the other. There are not many police officers, so you kind of go to speak whatever you want to do. And it's like a different dynamic than the US. But at the same time that I can compare both places, it's more free. 
because it's not that restricted. And I was talking to someone and said, we're planning to go to Cancun. I don't think she's here. And then she said, maybe we shouldn't go because it was a shooting. And then I said, there is shootings every day and everything runs. <laughs> it's not that it's, it's a good thing to happen, but you grow resentment because you kind of know where to go, where not to go. And if anything happened, what to do? Because things are not in order. Things are not done, if that makes sense. Like for example, right here, if you have mental illness, you cannot have a day off. Or you are, if you get out of job, you don't have the support like US, like they give you like a money monthly while you find another. If you don't have a job, you go fuck yourself or figure out what to do. So you make sure you don't lose your job or you do whatever you need to do, parking lot, I don't know, Walmart, whatever, because I will have nothing, if that makes sense. So there are different degrees of the same patterns from how a community can grow. If I go to the tribes that are in Mexico, I visit a tribe that is here in Sonora where I live, I live close to California and Arizona, very close, like three, four hours to the border, like, Pah. and I went to the tribe here that is the Yakis, and they had no water, and no toys, no nothing, kids just wanted water, because it's a desert here, and life was so simple that I never taught a kid what would happy to having bottles of water instead of toys, and I was just like, how beautiful that you can be happy with so little, but it's because they are in simplicity, because they live in a very organic place, very close to the city. They have no idea about news or anything, so it doesn't matter because they have their own world, if that makes sense. So there are different dynamics around the world, giving us the variety about the choice that we do if you would like to live in a country like, I don't know, Switzerland, that I'm sure is a beautiful country. I have a friend there and I was like, ah, I would like to go. Or like, I don't know, UK or US or Costa Rica or Argentina or Mexico or Africa. They're all different dynamics, different ways to be a human and to find your own happiness and your own prosperity and whatever you can work with the things that you have every like the way we have our own soul every country has its own soul and i kind of recognize it with the people like mexicans are different than the ones from venezuela or puerto rican will look the same but that's not the same all asians look alike but china is not the same personality but japan is totally different or vietnam or european countries they have different personalities like one from France they don't feel like the ones from UK or the ones from Spain so this is because we're blended with our feel I think that's why light workers are spread all over the world so we kind of are like beacons of light or whatever we have going on in our own community and then we can work from there so sometimes bad things help you in a different way. In the town that I grew up, that is not my city, we had the Cardells. It was a small town close to the border of US, like two hours and a half. It's all dusty, like the Sahara, it's hard to grow things. And I grew up in a private school. So the whole kids were the sons the sons and daughters from the ones from the cartels, the drug cartels. And we were like six or seven poor kids that we had scholarships or something like that, that we were not part of the drug cartels. But in that town, the ones that are not from the drug cartels work for the drug cartels. Whether you are the priest or the psychologist or the doctor or the dentist or the one who had the stores. And then whenever the militars 
catch the drug cartel's leaders and put them in jail, then the town went poor for a long time and then everyone was saying, we were better when we had the drug cartels because <laughs> the economy was growing because they were giving a lot of donations. So I grew up like that. I remember that I was six or seven and first grade of elementary school and we were making a bully from a one son who was back then his dad was working with a guy who was kind of like a chapo. I don't know if you guys are chapo, but you can Google it. And we said, Carlos, we're not going to play with you because your father is from the mafia. And we don't like anything to do with that. <laughs> and I remember that he started crying because we were six or seven. And then he said, he's just the accountant. Like the manager, like how, like the businessman. How do I know how to say that? But the ones who helps with your economy to pay your taxes and stuff like that. But he says, he's a decent person. We go to church every Sunday. He doesn't kill anyone. And then we feel bad. And then we say, okay, then come and play with us. <laughs> so I grew up like in a war zone. Sometimes it was shooting almost every day it wasn't safe at all but we learned to grow up like that and this is the town where my mom lives we normally don't go to visit very often because we know it's unsafe to go there because we're not there living there if you live there you're gonna have your own protection but because i don't live there i am like an outsider so there were in every places and I think without them belong to close when I was living with my ex and we were fighting every day for a lot of years it felt like I was Russia and he was Ukrainian or the other way we were at war and it was hard it was hard it was painful we were destroying each other so war begins right here between my peace and my stubbornness between the things that I feel upset the solutions that I can breed, I can bring into my reality. So those things don't happen anymore because there are some things that shouldn't happen, like shootings every day, or drug cartels, or war, or, or things like that. And sometimes we get used to things that shouldn't be, but it's in all of us as a conscious creator to drive our life and say, okay, maybe, I can do free meditations and people can join and whoever resonates with what I do, we can all find our own peace at least for 10 minutes a day, if that makes sense. So ask yourself what I can do in my life so I'm not in war with the ones that are vaccinated and I'm not, with the ones that don't believe that the government is reptilian or with the ones that don't want to do spiritual work because they are being part of the matrix or or whatever because maybe it's not about seeing what is paying attention to what should not be because it shouldn't be i agree with you but what i can do here so this world can be better maybe i can put food in my neighborhood. Maybe we can organize something so my neighborhood is more clean or is more safe or I can give something free online. Maybe I can do YouTube videos like Rel does and teach what I can do, what I know so someone else can benefit. There is a lot of things we can do, guys. And for the things we do, everyone learn. And it doesn't matter if we do them for the benefit or not because we are all together in this animals and trees and and everyone else and i would like to do like a prayer so all the things that happen in the world that are an extension and extension for whatever wars happen in my life we can heal if you like it that is a technique on Buddhism that's called Tony Glenn if my pronunciation is correct that I started practicing when I read Pima Chodron books 
she has a war that says when things fall apart that I love. I have read like six or seven books of her and she always breathe me into the present moment and, and to find that resiliency that we all have. And in that practice, you bring healing for yourself, but you also share it for all others. So if you want, we can take 10 minutes, bring language of the light, and in your own way, in the healer capability that we all have, we can send light. So whoever hires cell from any tree, animal, animal kingdom, leprechauns, or anything that need light or human, and it's able to receive it, can receive that. Because I think it's polite or courtesy to ask for permission when you send that. So if you would like to, we can do that. And I would like to ask you that you guys take a few minutes of your day to just be present you don't have to do anything, but from your hands of your heart, for the ones that do this with me, we're gonna stream healing for whatever could be that is ready to receive it right now. It could be the economic system, it could be the political system, our government, the people who are sick, people who is worried without a job or without I don't know, some people feel alone, depressed, there are a lot of things going on, and safe, not safe. So let's just breathe with me. I'm gonna take my personality aside. I'm gonna ask my higher self to breathe. Just hold me in the light, in my ears, my eyes. Acknowledge and so I can be an instrument and a conduit for unconditional love. And all of the higher self, for all of you, but whoever is ready to receive, all living things, the Gaia, to become one so I can be an instrument to bring that harmony, that balance, that light, when there is a lot of darkness, to find that balance that we all desire. I would like to ask you guys to breathe. Sometimes my voice go low. You don't have to understand. You don't have to listen to me. Just send me to what you feel in your heart, your hands. Allow yourself to be a channelers for light. Your shoulders, your heart, your mind, in your throat, in your belly. Feel the light flowing all around your spine, your back, bring relaxation, your legs, your knees. You can move, you can rectify your position, whatever you feel drawn to. Through shells of light, I am the one who represents the mother. Mi ashka sakura teri ashka. And I'm dearly joyful to be able to be broadcasted, to be a place to create a pocket at the energy level when you can feel whole. You may know me as Merli Kere Sarashkora Tirike Ashka, but I am more than that. That was an aspect of my soul. I am galactic as you. I am elemental as you. Angelical. 
and we all have had and have shadow in some part of the spectrum of the light that we vibrate. And today, we are legions of angels. These angels are unemployed angels. They are meant to serve whatever is needed. They don't have name, identity, or job other than support instantly. Being the divinity that streams unconditional love into anything that needs to be hold. Know that these angels instantly appear when anyone is in sorrow, grieving, and sadness, feeling not safe, screaming for support, waiting to hold you in a space where you guys can lean on into the light. And that it is what we have to offer. I'd like to ask your permission to hold each of you and anyone else that in the hearts of collective request to feel the holy light of divine. You may feel like arms all around you feeling sensations, you may feel like you lean on, on a chest, that may be one of the angels, or maybe myself. And as you allow yourself to be recharged, reactivated, or ease, or slow down, whatever you need will be provided. Because as the mother that watch over the childs of the light, our job is to love all creations, to provide nourishment and the comfort and the safeness that the love provides, where you don't need to trust all others but you trust yourself because you feel the support in all that it is from your loving heart that flows through you. So allow yourself to receive. And as you receive, you instantly to give when in harmony needs to be given be multiplied and come back to you and be again received. There are chores of angels singing, holding, listening to your prayers. You can maybe breathe and exhale. In between, you will find us. And understand that things don't seem easy, that they get complicated and tangled and can be hard. It's easy to lose faith trust in the system, but the system is not the human system, it's a system of the love, of divine, that is in all that it is, 
and that can be seen and felt and acknowledged. And you find in yourself a motivation to let the love spark Kietishka Sako Kiere Kiere Ashka. Then just be tuned into the archives of your memory and go back into the things that make you feel love, that make you decide to love. Maybe it's a soul, maybe it's a situation, maybe it's an activity, maybe it's in a scenery, something that you would like to experience. It could be a simple sunrise. It could be the smell of a flower. It could be the sound of the forest. It could be the mist of the ocean. It could be someone, another soul. It could be something that you do. Allow your vessel to be filled with love. Just what you need and just what is in harmony for you now. And we command the darkness that is in distortion that is ready to leave, it will be escorted with your angels. And this moment of time, transmuted throughout all times and space and dimensions, and for the highest good of all, kete eke ashka saka ekera eke ashka. Kuda, kuna was felt as in your heart. Instantly integrated, and it is done. Oh, that was so good. Oh. Thank you so much. Um, I was joyful, so joyful, and, and excited for the weekend because I had planned a lot of fun things to do. And oh, the ease of divine family because I was in my happy aligned masculine side, it's a sweetness. And we both complement each other in through what you want to do and feel excited and eager and, and happy to explore and into the family that is just be and let it flow as it's meant to be, it's a sweetness. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. I am grateful, remember, we have guided meditations every 5.55 a.m. and p.m. Mountain time. I am adding new meditations that are not in the YouTube channel that sometimes are ones that comes just, <laughs> I don't know, for me or for a friend or something. Um, for the ones that are with me in the manifestation course, I already had a session, the one-on-one -on -one with the half of you. Please the other half message me or I won't be able to have your one-on-one -on -one because I cannot do a lot of sessions a day. But if I organize myself, I can see all of you. But message me because I'm already booked until the 23. And please, the ones that I'm not seeing next month, we are going to talk about the archetype of God, the mechanics about God, God, higher self, angels, demons, guides, spiritual guides, soul extensions, all of those things. So you guys will uh, receive the material on the 1st of February. You have to sign up again. The model two, it's already be able to purchase any question or anything message me and I would like to I am going to do a conscious creator manifestation for the YouTube channel because I'm doing a lot of money codes abundance codes love codes 
So we all can manifest whatever we want. Some people ask for gift codes, DNA activation codes. So I can have like a natural meditation for us to tune into the source and then bring that alchemy so whatever ideas we send can be manifested with ease and grace. I hope that makes sense. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate your feedback, everything. I, I do the best. I'm always trying to reinvent. So anything, guys, you need, you would like to see or would like me to do, we can go with the flow. Forgive me the ones that the questions I couldn't answer. Friday, 5.55 p.m. Mountain Time. I do have live meditations, just 10 minutes if you want to join me. And Saturday, 12 p.m. Mountain Time. We have the free service. Next Saturday, I will speak less, I promise, and I will just do your, your questions. See you guys during the week. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. It's weekend.